I mean, dreams can be crazy. One minute you could be having a lightsaber fight with your neighbor and everybody's getting destroyed. And then 10 minutes later, you're in the desert. You're selling cupcakes to a bunch of lizards and you're living in a cactus home. Okay. Dreams are dreams are weird. Let's get it right the first time here on Broke Man Radio. Hey, wait a minute. Welcome to Broke Man Radio Worldwide, home of the champions, where you can be broke and still be classy. Years ago, the King of England, I was reading this. The King of England had four people designated to wipe his hind in. I'm not making none of this up. This is actually facts of history, which I love history, but maybe not this part. But so four people were designated to wipe. I mean, does it take four people to wipe the king's butt? I'm not sure, but this is true. And, uh, you know, you could never look at the king in a, in a more in a royal way after you just watched him have diarrhea for five days straight. And you're one of the people getting your and you don't have toilet paper. What are you wiping the king's butt with? I don't know what you're doing on that side of the street, uh, but the king. I guess the story ends well. The king knighted uh, the people that wiped his butt. And I guess he had to. We got to keep you close. Because uh, if you go out into <laughs> the kingdom and start telling everybody about my bowel movements, okay, it might get a little bit embarrassing. Um, and... It, and on the counterpart of that, like Kim Jong-un, uh, the people of North Korea, I don't think they're fully convinced. They're pretty much afraid to probably say, yeah, you know, this guy's lying. But the, uh, Kim Jong-un and all these people in North Korea, the people, their leaders, they're gods to the people, and they don't poop. So uh, I guess there's nobody wiping his hind in. But the king of England... You know, how lazy you got to be. You know, I, I'll tell you what, give me four people and let's go this way here. Bring some straw. <laughs> You'll be needing it. Even the jester's like, wow, you know what? I thought my job was terrible, but no, it is not. Possibly, let's go for the beheading because I'm not wiping anybody's hind in. <laughs> but yeah, uh, discussing dreams, I'll tell you, dreams are crazy. Um... And, you know, they always have people try to interpret dreams. Do, do not try to interpret my dreams. Like I said, we could be having a, you know, a lightsaber fight in the park. Everybody's getting destroyed, you know. And then a few minutes later, we're all selling cupcakes uh, on the side of the road. And, uh, you know, it, it's crazy. But uh, the thing is, is nothing's more funny than life itself. Life is funny. You have to laugh at yourself and stop taking yourself so doggone serious. People are depressed. People are this, that, and the other because mainly you're taking your life way too serious. Here at Broke Man Radio, we're like, listen, okay, uh, think about what I just told you about the lightsaber fight and about the king that like to uh, have four people designated to wipe his butt and say, wait a minute. My life just ain't that bad, okay? <laughs> As barrels of oil uh, continue to kind of spiral downward, you would think that gas would be going down. But absolutely not. Absolutely not. And if you got the Bitcoin dream going, listen, it's moving mighty slow up and down. But this world here, okay, uh, financially, I, I think personally that things are going to look better for uh, the Broke Man Radio Nation as a lot of places have been stalled. But if you look at it, most of them are in the green for the year. But yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you were in the Olympics, I'm going to change the subject on you because, you know, finances is not really the fun part of the day. But, uh, you know, back in the day when they had the Olympics, they used to give medals out for tug of war. That'd be awesome. You know, I live in a very small, very rural part of the United States of America, and I'm sure that I can get about five or six people together down down the road at this local hangout and say, listen, who wants to win a gold medal? Okay. Anybody could win a gold medal back in the day. Matter of fact, they gave gold medals for paintings, 
for literature, all these things. But one of the things I don't think I would have felt too comfortable with, most of the ancient Olympics were all in the nude. What is up with that? Listen, you wrestle that guy over there. Listen, if he ain't got no clothes on, he's an automatic winner, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, some of the ancient things or some of the, the books that you read, you'd be like, there's no way that happened. And uh, yes, it did, okay? And the history books are full of just intriguing things. And, you know, you should really educate yourself with looking back at just how far we've come. We've come very far. The aliens, were aliens involved? They must have been because, let me tell you something, you go from a horse and carriage for thousands of years and turn around driving a car instantaneously. So all I'm saying is something don't seem right. Area 51, possibly. <laughs> but listen, have a wonderful weekend. This has been Broke Man Radio saying, listen, have some crazy dreams. Go out there, you know, and realize your job is not as bad as those four people that got knighted. Good gracious. It's not that bad. And if it is, you might want to look for another job. Trust me, they need some help at Burger King really bad. <laughs> I changed the name of Burger King to I hope you got 45 minutes. And I'll tell you, I ain't telling that story again. This has been Broke Man Radio. Have a wonderful weekend.